Hello and welcome to Dartmoor. Uh, you join me today uh, near Road Hall. Uh, this was a week of plans. This was planned to do something and then I had to cancel it because of something and work. And so I ended up not doing anything. <laughs> so, um, what I'm doing today is I'm meeting Carl and Jim. Uh, links to channels below. Just for an overnight, really. So, where I'm heading to is just below Lint's tour. It's a favourite spot of Jim's. It's become our sort of go to social meetup spot, really. It's nice and sheltered mostly from the winds. Uh, good water source, nice pitches sort of off the beaten track so uh, a bit of a cloudy day but I'm quite glad it's not as hot as it has been it's baking hot so I'm gonna toodle on I'm not doing anything specific I'm literally just walking to Dingator and then dropping down but uh, trying some new insoles as well on my shoes so just a little mooch <laughs> but I thought I'd bring you along on the way right I'll bring you back the haters. There's High Will Haze, uh, Kitty Tor, uh, Knee Set, um, I don't know what that one is, Hanging Stone, Steepleton, Wild Tor. Yeah, so I'm just coming into the valley now. Um, just about to drop down. Dinger Tor's just down the bottom of here. Quite a nice little walk up actually. Should have walked up and over high wall haze, but I do it every single time. I haven't been out for a while. Uh, I was busy with work. Then I got COVID. Which was all right, but it was just like two weeks of ugh. So I had that to deal with. Right, dinger tour. Very nice. Yeah, it's a very claggy day, very low cloud. Uh, it was clipping high wheel haze a minute ago. But we shall see. Right, I'm going to drop down, I'll bring you back in a bit. pitched up uh, pitched a bit early because there's people around with backpacks and it's always uh didn't know if they're gonna pitch here so I thought I'd nab the spot before anyone else turns up just waiting on Carl and uh, Jim really I can't remember if I've filmed this yet have I made a film of my new notch well it's not new I've had it a few months now but I took it to Scotland. Brilliant in Scotland it was. Absolutely really nice. So easy to pitch. It's only six pegs and it's it's done and done. It really is. Oh. Let me look around actually. Uh, it's designed for actually people up to six foot six, so it suits me down to the ground. It really does. It's a little bit narrow, but 
for its weight. I think it's 800 810 grams on my scales, which is not too shabby at all. Uh, it goes up with two pair, uh, two poles, as you can see. It's got two doors, both either one either side, which is really nice, really nice. Two small vegetables rather than one big one, but uh, it took a little bit of getting used to. But um, yeah, I sort of get my head around it now. I tend to, whichever end I'm sleeping, uh, I'm feeling I'll be sleeping that side. So I tend to do my cooking in that, that side and get out the other side. So my bag and my shoes go here and all the stuff I'll need during the night goes there. And it sheds wind really well. It's actually quite wind. There's quite a bit of a breeze coming this direction. But it um, just seems to... Ooh, there's loads of cow poo here. But uh, there you go. Really nice. Right, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff in and get myself sorted, I think. Uh, I've got a new bit of kit as well now. Uh, when I was in Scotland, I had a bad asthma attack off my down sleeping bags. So I had to get rid of them. So I ordered a Valium Peak Apex Climber Shield synthetic quilt. Um, first time using it, actually, in the wild. So, um, yeah, it's supposed to be down to minus one. They do do one slightly lower, but I don't know. I think a minus one's enough for me. Keeps it about about 800 grams as well. The court, so it's a nice little um, setup. Thing, I think I've got extra wide, extra large quilt. So see how I go tonight. Should be toasty. I did have a climber shield. Apex Climber Shield quilt before. I had the MLD Spirit, it's what I took on the TGO. Although it was long, it was narrow and it didn't fit properly. Every time you sort of moved in the night, you'd end up with a like a draft and it was just. just so I've got this one extra. This is like 20 centimeters wider than the Apex, so it should be much better. But um, we'll see how we get on. Well, finally joined by Carl, aka Dartmoor Explorer. That is right, isn't it? No. Dead for Outdoors. Oh, oh Dead I for Outdoors. Oh, I don't remember them. <laughs> I can't even... I've never used it. Who's Dartmoor Explorer? That's Steve, That's the isn't other it? Carl. It's the other uh, Carl, isn't it? Dartmoor Explorer. I thought it was Dartmoor Wand. Oh, no, that's Steve, isn't That's it? Steve, yeah. Fucking Dartmoors. <laughs> no, it's Dead for Outdoors. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Too many Coles and Dartmoors. Uh, Jim's bus is late, so he's he'll turn up about six, he said. But there's a bit of a mist rolling in. It's a bit of a, a misty moors. Well, Carl's brought his... What's the, what's the manufacturer? Uh, I think it's Tippic Tents um, Pilu. Yeah, it's the Pilu. Pilau. Pilu. No. Um, looks a bit like a six moon stroke cricket slash... Duo mid type thing, innit? Yeah. yeah, they make it in France. Yeah. yeah. You're bivying though, aren't you? Yeah, I've got a, a little foil ground sheet to put down, and then I've got my little foam mat. And yeah. Yeah. You probably don't even need a bivy, really. No, I was thinking that. I thought it was going to be like just sweat, sweating in it. I'm yeah. Thinking. Yeah, very really nice. Right. I'm going to put the kettle on, make a coffee, and uh, hope it doesn't rain.
Well, I'm joined by Mr. Jim JD in his Six Moons Lunar Solo. Everyone's just about to do some tea. Of course, it's uh, the only non sunny day this year. <laughs> so we decided to come out and sit in the rain. Mist, cloud, clag, whatever. So there we go. <clears throat> so it was Carl is about to make a pizza. Yeah. I've brought the kitchen sink, got some I've even got vegetables. <laughs> and dough. He's bought pizza dough, cheese, cheese grated already. Yeah. Brony. Is that chili cheese mix? Yeah. Didn't nice. even know they did a chili cheese mix. I know. It should make it taste better. Jim's. Ooh, what yeah. are you having for tea, Jim? I got sausages, but I'm boiling some water up first. So I can have a cup of tea. Very nice. So they're doing frying and baking, and I've got pasta. So there you go. I knew I should have bought me Tranger Mini. Yeah. Fried up something. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah. Oh well, time to sit in the tent. Sunny Dartmoor. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely view. Can't handle this heat. No. <laughs> We're actually it. cold. <laughs> Fucking for the first time in months. Actually, the wind's quite warm. Yeah. Uh, That's coming from me. But we can barely see. Anything. We're stood in the moisture. <laughs> what time is it? Nine o'clock. Bloody hell. Is it nine o'clock? It's actually still quite light. I'm surprised yeah. at that. Well, it's not until the end of August really it sort of drops off, is it? Yeah. August, September. So if anything happens, I'll bring you back, but I thought I'll show you the, the mist. I've seen that film. Morning people, as you can hear and probably see. There's a naked cow! Wow, I'm, I'm fully clothed now. Oh. <laughs> well, I couldn't actually see, I was looking on the back. Yeah, you, might, you might have got more viewers if I was making. Or less. Less, probably. But as you can see, it's pissing down with rain. Uh, yeah, it's been pissing down all night. So, after the last bit of filming, we all basically went to our tents and stayed there because it rained all night. Um, which wasn't actually forecast, but there you go, Dartmoor for you. Um, not really a lot to do <laughs> other than pack up and go home, really. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll be still around much. Wind's picked up as well. So, yeah, that's about it, really. Pack up. Wonder back. Very really nice. Right, I'm gonna drink my tea and I'll bring you back in a bit. Well, that's where I was, as usual, leave no trace, apart from a dry patch. Uh, give me a look around actually. Still all claggy and wet and damp and ugh, typical Dartmoor. Yeah, so I'm just going to wander back up along the track. Don't think I'm going to make anything of the day. There's no point, it's just bloody wet. As he emerges from oh. hibernation. <laughs> <coughs> so yes, so I'm going to give it five, ten minutes here and I'm going to be on my way, I think. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit.